Good morning, and welcome to the Commons Experience Graphic Novel of the Month Club for the month of August. Uh, our book this month is The Fantastic Cheshire Crossing by Andy Weir and Sarah Anderson, who we have, we're both very lucky to have here uh, in the studio. What was it like for you, Sarah, to be given a completed comic and then to redraw it, essentially? Yeah. Um, it was interesting because I usually have a heavy hand in the writing process, mm -hmm. um, but it was kind of like a relief to just have all the writing just be done, and I could kind of like just turn off my brain and just draw. So it was actually kind of nice. I mean, it was a lot, like um, a lot of design work in the beginning because there's so many characters, and of course I have to like, um, you know, come up with character designs based on your designs for each one. So there was a lot of sort of like, yeah, design work in it, um, but you know, in in other ways, it was very easy because the story was just there, and I just was able to kind of turn off the writing part and just draw. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess with the design work, also, I get you presumably had to account for the hundred years or so of popular culture yeah. on those characters themselves. Yeah. These, are, these are not characters I invented. Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Illustrating Alice in Wonderland and trying to make her unique is. Um, <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> so your first novel and then and then Ridley Scott decides to direct it so what was that experience like if you can sum it, it up it was and... it was really surreal yeah I mean it, it it didn't feel real because for me it was all just phone calls it's not like I'm in the heavy hitters meetings or right. hanging out with Matt Damon it's right. just like it was all just going on somewhere else right. and I was getting phone calls saying like oh we've got you know the day three of shooting in the can yeah. here and you know we're, we're going along fine I'm like good yeah. you know and it's like I didn't really like emotionally believe that it had happened until I saw a cut of the film the next thing that happens is imposter syndrome yeah hey kids imposter syndrome is when you feel like you don't deserve the accolades that you're getting when everybody says like hey you're awesome and you feel like no I'm not you're all wrong that's imposter syndrome and um, everybody gets that from time to time and I, I got it big time after that there's a there's a saying I like to say is um, uh, give a person a book and you entertain them for a night uh, teach a person to write and you give them crippling self-doubt for life. <laughs>